There will be a time when we will look back and ask ourselves what we did right now. How do we want to be remembered? This is an emergency. People are already suffering and dying from the consequences of the climate and environmental emergency. But it will get worse. And still, this emergency is being completely ignored by the politicians, the media, and those in power. Basically, nothing is being done to halt this crisis, despite all the beautiful words and promises from our elected officials. So what did we do during this crucial time? What we will do right now? Well, I will not stand aside and watch. I will not be silent while the world is on fire. Will you? World leaders are behaving like children. So it falls on us to be the adults in the room. It should not be this way. We should not be the ones who will have to lead on this and tell the uncomfortable truth. Once again, they sweep their mess under the rug for us young people, for their children to clean up for them. But we must continue, and we have to be patient and remember that the changes required will not happen overnight. Since the politics and the solutions needed are still far from sight. But if enough people are pushing for change, then change will come. And we are those people. And every single person counts. Just look at Bristol as an example. The other week, the plans to build, to expand the Bristol airport were canceled. A lot thanks to climate activists. And of course, this is far from enough, but it shows that it does actually make a difference. Activism works, so I'm telling you to act. If you look throughout history, all the great changes have come from the people. We are being betrayed by those in power, and they are failing us, but we will not back down. And if you feel threatened by that, then I have some very bad news for you. We will not be silenced because we are the change and change is coming whether you like it or not. Thank you and let's march.